Omar, how you doing? The seventy five news, the brothers. All right, everything clear. Yeah, yeah um, I'm doing great, man. Now you know, uh, feeling better. This is the day before my surgery. As I was saying, um, first um, when my fight got canceled, I thought I just had gallstones in my gallbladder. My eyes were yellow. I had jaundice as well. And, you know, obviously you can't fight like that. So I had to cancel my fight. But as the weeks went on, I stayed in the hospital. And I'm wondering, why aren't they operating on me? And they just kept doing stuff. And they're like, no, nah, you have something else wrong with you. It was more than just gall something, you all bladder. So this come, this come, that come. So about a week or two later, they finally told me, they said, you know what? Also, you got cancer. What? And I couldn't believe it. Oh, and I said, wow. Yeah. They said, you got cancer, man. And it's a rare form of cancer. And it's called gallbladder cancer. And, you know, usually people that get it, it's in their 80s or in, you know, 70s, 60s, anything like that. It's in their 70s or 60s, anything like that. I did not know this cancer would come from somebody like me. Obviously, it doesn't, it's not in my category. I'm an extremely healthy person. I don't joke, I don't, I don't drink, I don't smoke, none of that kind of stuff. Bad or anything like that. Or I have any kind of bad habits. So, what about your family? It's really history? rare. Obviously. What about your family history? Is it hereditary by any chance? No, nothing like that. Nothing. It's not hereditary. Nothing like that. You know, my, my, some of my family did have gallstones. Nobody had no cancer, you know, gallbladder cancer, mm. you know. But, um, you know, a lot of you have gallstones. That's common. But, um, yeah, somehow I developed cancer with this. And it's like a big, big cancer, they said. And it's like um, shape around. It's like a big apple. It's shaped all around my gallbladder. And I seen it, and oh man, it looks nasty. And they showed it to me, and they told me, they said, yeah. And then uh, the surgeon told me, now I transferred, so I was in Fort Lauderdale for that, and they told me that. So obviously, I'm not going to have the surgery in Fort Lauderdale because I'm from Chicago. And actually, one of the best liver specialists in you know, this for all the body type is for here in Chicago. It's called University of Chicago Hospital. And um, my mom and everybody sounded like, you know, you can come here. And plus, on top of that, it was a coincidence. This is one of the best you know, surgery team for this operation. So I come here and they say, you see the same thing? I was like, yeah. They say it's in a bad spot. The only problem is we can get out, it's in a bad spot. So I can have complications. I have to die tomorrow through surgery. Um, complications afterwards, it's all types of stuff. But, you know, I can't have pain like this. I can't live like this, you know. Um, every time I try to eat something, my, um, my, my, my food, I get full. I can have a salad and like a yogurt. And just a bottle of water, and my stomach extends, and it's not just regular full. It seems like because my digestive system isn't working right, it yeah. seems like my stomach is like I just went to a buffet. You know, you go from a buffet or something, you just eat too much, right. and your stomach just extended. You can barely walk. That's how bad it feels. It's horrible. So I've been I've been living in torture like that for the past couple of weeks because it takes forever for my food to digest, and everything's all clogged up. Basically, my plumbing system is clogged up, as they say, and everything is messed up. And you know, this is emergency surgery. This is rare cancer, and they say they can take it out, and they got three options, basically. They're going to go in, and, um, you know, it's going to be smooth surgery. They take the gallbladder out, because they haven't took the gallbladder out, because it's too dangerous to just take out without all of the stuff. So they're going to take the gallbladder out, and take that out completely with the gallstones, and then take out the cancer. Um, the problem is, the cancer has leaked into my liver. Some of it has spread it to my liver. So they're going to have to take part of my liver out now as well. Oh, man. And, yeah, it's very scary. They're going to have to take part of my liver out. And, you know, the the, the, um, the thing with that is, you know, they say your liver can grow back and things like that and things like that. But, you know, I have to live, man. You know, you said you can still become healthy eventually and things like that. But, um, you know, I have to do this for my life and everything like that. Forget the career, just in general for life. I can't live like this. Right. I can't yeah, yeah. get off and not, oh, I'm not going to have surgery because this can't have to happen. No. This or that, man. So these are those two choices, and you know I want to live, and you know if you know God to make mistakes, if it's my time to go tomorrow, then I'll be going tomorrow. <laughs> but you know, hopefully it's not my time to go tomorrow, and I live a long life and have a still a long career, so I can still fight back and you know come back from all of this like other people have done. And um, you know I pray it's not, and um, hopefully I have many exciting future fights for you, everybody in the future because I look forward to it. I'm a fighter. Yeah, I'm going to fight this, man. I get so many love from my Facebook through Twitter. Everybody's sending all these prayers, and I'm, I'm looking. And Instagram, and I'm, I'm looking. I'm just saying all this, and, man, don't worry. I'm going to fight as much as I can. Yeah. And, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. Yeah. You're definitely, you're definitely going to bounce back, man. You know, just you got to 
keep keep your head up and think positive. You know what I mean? The boxer fans got your back. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see, man. You know, the boxer fans been lovely. I just, man, it's definitely been humbling to know how many people know my name and from all over the world, from the UK to Australia to uh, Germany and different places all over the world, sending their prayer requests. And man, it's just it's just amazing. It shows me how much I've accomplished since um, I turned pro in 2004. You know, I mean, people have touched with my style and my humbleness and talking to everybody and stuff like that. So I just appreciate the support and, you know, don't worry. Not to worry. Um, I got to do what I got to do, y'all. You know, I have to do what I got to fight. I'm a fighter. I got to fight this tomorrow. And like I said, what's going to happen is going to happen, but I got to fight it. I got to fight it because, man, I've been in terrible pain for over a month now, and it's nothing like being in the hospital. I never been in the hospital more than a day. Mm. So me being yeah. in the hospital, you know, for over a month, you know, there's definitely been without well, being able to train and nothing like that. It's definitely been an eye opener. When I want, if I get through this, when I get through this, I'm definitely be so grateful. I'm just come back stronger than ever and mm. mark my way back to the title. And man, just do it. Just yeah. keep me yeah, up, absolutely. keep me all in your prayers, man. Well, and thanks for everything, we'll, we'll all the support for now. We'll be talking to you, you know, we'll be talking to you in the end of 2013. You you have a, a strap around your waist, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. We'll, 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 you know, it, it'll be all good. Yeah, yeah. Man. It happened for that, Danny man. Jacobs. Danny Jacobs overcame, well, I don't think he's as severe as what you have, but he... he yeah, overcame. I heard about that, yeah. yeah. I talked with Danny so, about that, too. And like, you know I mean? Yeah, I talked about, like, man, what happened? You know, he's before my head. Like, man, I'm happy when, I'm happy you, you know, you got over that and stuff, and... Yeah. People communicated once on Instagram about the like, you know, the cancer thing and stuff like that. And you know, he said he praying for me and stuff. Mm. And um, man, this, I just want to fight through this, man. And you know, I was really nervous and scared. It's only human, you know, to all the stuff they're telling me and me filling out all this paperwork. If I could become brain dead, if something happened to me, I leave all my stuff to, you know, the life and life and death never came as close as you know, as what's gonna happen tomorrow. So you know, it's just. It's, it's hard for somebody that's only twenty five years old. Mm, what what, yeah. what time is what time is your uh your your operation tomorrow so the fans can know what time to pray for you if that's what they do? Um, well they say the operation tomorrow is one PM Chicago time. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go in under the table on the ninth at one PM and uh, you know, hopefully they get everything out of me, everything goes smooth, man. I'm f I'm gonna be fighting it, man. I'm gonna be strong as possible. Mm. Yeah. No yeah. doubt. Yeah, man. All right, brother. Uh, I, I'm gonna pray. I'm not a religious person, but I'm gonna pray for you, man. I'm praying for you. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. We Thank gonna, you, man. We gonna, we gonna All pray the prayers for you. definitely, uh, definitely um, appreciated and yeah. needed. Yeah, I just watched one of your fights, man. I, 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 I'm gonna, I want to change the mood a little, man, because I, you're gonna get through this. I just watched yeah. your fight against. Orpheus, wait, man. You you got a furious start, man. I wouldn't like to fight you, man. You don't let you don't let no one breathe, man. It's, 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 it's like damn, it's like a hurricane, man. Yeah, yeah man. Wow. I train when I train hard and I'm focused and every I do everything in training. I feel like nobody can beat me. You know, yeah. I'm strong and fast. And you know, I look forward to more fights like that for the fans. To give more fights like that to the fans. Y'all see ya. Y'all see ya. I got it in me. So right, just look forward to that. Wow, that's impressive, man. That's impressive. Boy, absolutely. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You'll, you'll be back. So, you'll be back. Trust me on that. You will be yeah, back. Yeah, absolutely. Man. We I already know, you know. Yeah. Is it, he gonna, he'll be back, you know, and we're going to talk about this, you know. You know, when, when you get that strap around your waist, we'll all be sitting around talking about, you know, what it took to get here, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I got a story to tell now. Definitely. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, definitely. boy. Yeah. You definitely gonna come back strong from this. If your boy, will man. is as strong as that that your fight style I saw there, I don't see how cancer's I, gonna get I don't a chance. Cancer, man. Yeah, yeah cancer ain't gonna beat you, man. you, man. I don't see. You nah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I keep it real. Keep your head up, man. Like I'm a lot older. I've seen I I mean, a lot of people get through things that they shouldn't have, man. And it, 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 you know what I mean? People don't real I'm not I'm not really a religious person, but I do have faith. I know if you got good vibes and good people around you and you got you know what I mean Things, right, things can and will turn around, man. You know, you know what I mean. It's like absolutely. You know oh, oh, I mean? Omar, like just to change, change beat. So who, who you like? I'm looking at your fighting style. I've never seen nothing like it, man. You come like a Mike Tyson here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you to say that. Yo, man, um, you, you, it's scary, the Earl. I'm, 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 I like it, bro. 
<laughs> Yo, serious, like, I, I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I'm actually watching you. I'm watching you just buy this way around, boy. So, so what, Mike Tyson, what, what kind of boxes you like when you was coming up, bro? Uh, yeah, obviously, Mike Tyson was the first one because you know, everybody used to order Mike Tyson fights, you know, growing up and, you know, back in the early 90s and stuff like that as a kid. I used to turn it on, but I never wanted to become a boxer, you know. I used to always like watching it because, you know, it was fun. Yeah. And stuff like that, and my mom. And, Used to order it and stuff like that. I used to watch it. Like, dang, the guy knocked him out. I never wanted to become a boxer, really, until I was later on. I was like 14, mm-hmm. 15 years old, and I seen like a Roy Jones fight. And he amazed me. He knocked the guy out behind his back. Yeah. This is the, the thing, and they show highlights. I'm like, oh my God, I was just impressed by that. That's actually what inspired me. Was, uh, Roy Jones, even though I don't fight like his style, yeah. that's what inspired me to become a boxer because I was like just amazed. I'm like, wow, yeah, yeah, this yeah. guy is just amazing. You know, back in his prime, Roy Jones was untouchable. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody want to make fun of him now and talk stuff about him, but back in his Bro. prime, that's the greatest boxer ever. Yeah, man. Yeah, they can make man. fun of all they that's like. What inspired I had my own style, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, like, like, for, you remind me of a Mexican, bro. I'm not, you remind me of uh, <laughs> Marco Antonio Barrera. Like, the way you work off your jab, and then you go in and get closer, and you work him left hook to the body, and you and you Kodo. intimidate. What's that? You like Kodo. Like, oh, you remind you of Kodo? Yeah, Kodo, yeah, too. Yeah, Kodo, yeah. too. Kodo, too. Kodo too. Yeah, 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 Depends yeah. on what fight you see. If y'all I'm, see I'm, the... watching, I'm watching this guy, this tool guy with the black shorts, and you're just beating on him, boy. <laughs> that's, yeah, if y'all see my obvious, first fight right? or the... Or the uh, different the fights, you know, I fight like certain people, they think like, oh, for one of the fights, oh man, you fight like Kodo. For another fight, oh, you sound like you like fight like Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I guess yeah. it's a mix of Mike Tyson and Kodo or yeah. Roy Jones and whoever I feel like that day or, you know, whatever mix. I, yeah, I, I definitely like saw some Kodo there, there, man. Definitely yeah, the co- I see the Kodo thing. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Early days Kodo, I can see that, man. Right, early days Kodo, oh, yeah. But when, when it's all said and done, it's oh my Henry, man. It's oh my exactly. Henry. <laughs> oh my exactly. Henry just doing his thing, man. No, we gonna see. <laughs> so, what what's the what what is the training regime like for you to get in that shape to fight like that? What? No, oh, Jesus, hard training regimen, man. Obviously, doing a, um a lot of running, a lot of um, you know, what is it? Body weight things like a lot of pull ups, a lot of push ups, a lot yeah. of um, you know, leg exercises, sprints, and um, swimming at six in the morning. Mm-hmm. Oh man, yoga, just all types of stuff that boxers don't even do. Yeah, just just yeah. something different that'll make me different. Yeah. It yeah. has made me different. You know what I mean? Just 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 everything. Um Excellent, man. Just 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 stuff that just make me tougher, man. And obviously as you see it has paid off. I tell you what, man, 'cause I, I, I normally do a boxing news report on Friday. And when I read your story out from the boxing news and a few people they were just Touched by yeah. your story, and yeah, like you know, I'm telling you, man, because you you're a popular fighter, man. With that, you a star. You you definitely you are a special fighter, man. There's no doubt about that. You are a special fighter. Mm, mm, you know? Appreciate it, and that's not a past tense thing. You are. You mean you are a special fighter? There's no doubt. Mm. You're like a razor blade, man. <laughs> <You just laughs> like, and I'm brown. I plan on bringing more to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need more of that. I really do. I really do. Yeah, yeah, so um, yeah. what what who? What do you think of Austin Kraut? Like, he, I mean, that would be somebody you, you you'll be targeting. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. Austin you, you, Kraut. You've been watching the recent fights when well, he, Oscar Trout beat Cole. Do you see that fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, I'm a boxing fan on top of everything. Yeah, I've been watching everything. I've just been sick. You know, I haven't been able yeah. to write my opinions on Facebook and stuff like that. You know, I've been sick, but I've been watching everything. I've been going on YouTube and mm. these different sites and seeing everything, man. Mm-hmm. So, what did you think of Austin and, Kraut against Cole? Um, Austin Trout against Cotto. Um, in the beginning, I didn't like that fight. I was really confused why Cotto took that fight, you know. Um, you know, I know Austin Trout from Houston. We actually used to train together. We fought on the same car together one time. Okay. You know, it was kind of uh, ironic. I was like, dang, Austin, it's just amazing. I wrote him on Twitter. We fought each other on Twitter. Like, dang, you come know, from the same place. We didn't come from Twitter, but he used to train. He didn't come from Houston, but he used to train in Houston. And, like, dang, it's just so weird. And, uh, man, he was a champ. It just shows you what hard work you do. Mm. And you know, I'm gonna get there too, you know. Yeah. And it's like, you know, just such, um, so weird to see sometimes. Um, mm. Somebody you knew that you know didn't have a name at first, and nobody knew who they was. And, yeah. And they fight on HBO, and they just be the legend. It's like, dang. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's crazy. So, you know, congrats and stuff like that. Obviously, he's one of my favorite fighters. He beat, you know, but you know, that's how boxing <laughs> is. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's all about, the, you know, it's a business in the end. And, yeah, Changing you know. of the guard, they call that, man. That's what that is. It's... Yeah, but I, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, it was a cool fight. Austin did what he did. You know, Cotto, you just seen right there with that fight to me, you just seen that Cotto's not a national junior middleweight. You know, it's just not his weight. Mm-hmm. His best right. weight is like, you know, 140, 147. He's not a national junior middleweight. He doesn't have the power to stop the big junior middleweights like Austin Trout. Mm-hmm. He's a big junior middleweight. Once a been, he's like six something, six foot something, and. You know, he's tall, he's lanky, he's left-handed. It's just everything that uh, you don't want to fight. You yeah. know, when you're um, somebody that's at least coming up in weight. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Hey, you, you, you're from Puerto Rico, right? No, I'm from Chicago. My dad's from Puerto Rico. Oh, so yeah, because I see I you. I rep it the... hard, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah you rep it hard. Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad. Yeah, you rep him. Yeah, 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 you rep Puerto Rico. So, hey, do you see the, the Pacquiao-Marquez uh, fight? Yep, I've seen that fight as well. Yeah, what do you think of that fight? Your, your thoughts on that? <laughs> oh man, it was just crazy. I was I was stunned just like everybody else. It was just weird, man. It's just you know, it's just a Bradley fight. All his fights been weird. Like I don't know. I was just it's a Bradley fight when that happened. I'm like oh, something's going on with his fights, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. I was like maybe he's gonna lose against Dan. I don't know what's going on, but I just think it was weird. Uh, I just think it's weird. Um, what happened? And I hate it happen. You know, Pacquiao's a good guy, but I just think it's just a lot of stuff behind doors that we don't know. Um, that's happening and things like that that you know you never know mm. so I don't know man it's just weird I hate it happen he's a good guy and mm. another thing you know because of the Pacquiao Mayweather fight that really just took everything off all the mystique about it and do this do that a lot of people going to be like look what Marquez look what Mayweather did to Marquez look what Marquez did to Pacquiao now so it's like it's not as it's not as fun no more you know if it was like 2009 2010 you know it's not as fun right. no more you know yeah. but, People yeah. that um, big Pacquiao fans, big me, you know, it's, it's just not as fun no more. But maybe with the wins, I was like, oh, it's not a big deal, you know. But back then, it would have been a big deal. So you know, okay. so I don't hate to happen like that. But hey, you know, there's boxing, and you know, hopefully, something else be mystique kind of fight. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, for real. How you? You know, Amir Khan. Amir Khan's fighting this weekend. Who you? Who you think about Amir Khan? Well, I'm like Amir Khan, as you've seen. You know, a lot of people from the UK see me. When he was fighting um, Madonna, when he got hurt, I was ringside there with his dad. And, you know, um, uh, De Loya, Canelo, and uh, um, David Hay. And they just see me in the background, like, right, right. And I was rooting for Amir Khan, you know, I like him. Yeah. He's a good guy. We have followed each other on Twitter before. And um, we talked a couple times before, things like that. I like him. You know, um, personally, with him fighting now, that's the guy. I'm not sure about this guy he's fighting. You know, I don't know about the guy he's fighting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I heard that he's just, you know, a good test for me here to see how his chin is now and have he recouped from all the knockouts and things like that. But um Yeah. Hope he wins. Hopefully it's not he's just taking a fight too fast early. Maybe he should have took more time off. We don't know. We'll see with this fight, you know. So yeah. if a knockout like that happened or um, you know, his last fight, you know, you no, know, sometimes <laughs> I wouldn't have probably wouldn't have came back until next year. But he's taking a guy that's undefeated. That's a light punch, it looks like, but he's undefeated still. So it makes it, you know, obviously uh, still an um, interesting fight to watch. Yeah. You know one thing? Hopefully Amir wins because, you know, yeah. I like Amir Khan. Definitely. And, um, you know, if he can just get back in his title shot. But, you know, I don't, you know. There's one thing I'm going to start pushing for in boxing, you know, and that's for the champions, like American champions, to start having some fights abroad, man. I mean... Sugar Ray Robinson used to fight in Belgium, France, England. Really? I didn't know uh, that. And Ali fought all around the world. I, I think um, a lot of the American champs are getting a bit isolated by just fighting in the States, man, you know? Cause it's yeah. Not, you know? Me, I'm one of them. It's funny you say that because I was just telling my um, my manager that. I was like, man, I don't want this fight in the States. I want to start fighting. I want to fight in the UK. I told her I want to move to the UK or <laughs> I want to go somewhere in France or Europe in general. I want to be out there because... Out there in the UK and, you know, any places really outside of America, they really treat their fighters, like, really nice. They treat their fighters nice. Mm. They appreciate their fighters yeah. more than they do here in the States. Because here in the States, we got so many teams and most, so many things. And, you know, they're not as big boxing fans as they are when people outside the States, mm. you know. And I was like, man, I would love to train out there for a year, move out there, something like that one day. Mm. Things like that because, man, people from different countries like the UK and things like that that, Man, yeah. they really, they really uh, appreciate the fighters more. Definitely, they treat you better out there. So, I would love to fight out there, France or Germany and the UK. 
mm-hmm. any of those places. So definitely an option, man. It might happen still. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good possibility of that happening. Good piece of yeah. happening. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, so, you know. I'm uh, down for it. Yeah. Sure. Real. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. 78? Uh, well, you know, that's really, we just wanted to give, check up on your brother and make sure you was okay. And um, give everybody an update on you. You know, we ain't going to hold you. You know, we know you're tired and everything. Yeah, but we, we definitely uh, check in on you again in a couple of weeks or something, you know. Uh, make sure you're all right. All right. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all the support. And hopefully I'll be talking to y'all post-surgery and I'm all healthy and good. And yeah. Telling y'all that yeah. we're going to, you know, that everything's going to go good. Yeah, Nothing positive. Yeah, definitely. And, um, if not, <laughs> oh shit, man! man you know, oh man, this is what, this if is not, good, man, man. Thank y'all for all the support, and I guess I see you on the other side. No, nah, man, no, nah, man, nah, nah, man. Nah, 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 man. Don't speak I on mean, that. I mean, like, like, is there anything like you you really want to get off your chest, like right now? I'm just saying, like, I'm not. I don't think this is gonna happen, though. But you know, anything else you want to say to your yeah. friend? Um, you know, if the worst come, you know, a lot of people don't like talking about that and stuff like that, but things happen. Yeah. You know, if something does happen to me tomorrow and somehow I'll become brain dead or I die in surgery or anything like that, I just want to say thank y'all. Thank y'all, the fans, for everything. It's definitely changed my life since I've become a, a boxer. It definitely has changed my life. The sport of boxing has changed my life. And, um, man, without boxing, I don't know where I would have been today. And, Definitely has um definitely has made me the man I am today with maturity and it just changed my whole life. It took me to places I never thought I'd go and thought I'd do. Meet people I thought I'd never meet, from the president to the famous singers, the famous mm-hmm. rappers to you know, being a place I thought I'd never go. I just everywhere. It's boxing's definitely been a great thing to me. So I just wanna thank the sport and hope the sport live on and yeah. just just thankful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful for everything that has happened to me since I've been in boxing. Nah, uh, we, we're gonna oh. talk to you in a couple of days, brother. Couple okay. days. Yeah, we hey, listen. We in fact, we're in fact. You know what? We're gonna call you. We're gonna call you tomorrow at the same time. We're gonna call you tomorrow at the same time and see. And, if, and we're gonna. Well, talk. I'm not sure. Like I said, no. Nah. Yeah, if you were, yeah, tomorrow at the same time, I'll be in surgery. Well, yeah, I'm not yeah, sure how sure. long the surgery gonna be. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can call maybe at night something yeah, like, we're gonna that, call, I'm, I'm like a, that. Yeah, we're going to call later because obviously you're going to get for it. And we're yeah, going to talk it down I'm not sure. Yeah, you, you know you me. Are, I'm, I'm always updating my Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. I'll try it as soon as possible. And you know, I'm going to think about it like, oh, man, let me go on my Facebook and tell everybody. Mm. I'm all right. I made it through surgery. Yeah, that's you know, what they say I have tubes on my throat and everything else. So. Yeah. I don't know. but. Yeah. All right. Yeah, keep your head up, man. Keep your head up, man. We are. We're going to find out, definitely. <laughs> no, so I'm, I'm gonna hear from you tomorrow. Trust me, we're gonna hear from you tomorrow. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be a cool man. You're gonna be all right, man. You're gonna all be right, right, man. Thank yeah? you. Yeah, all right, man. Keep your head up, man. All right, peace, brother. All right, peace, bro. Peace. Peace. All right, love and peace, man. Love yeah, you too, man. Peace. Peace.